Hello, welcome back to the program. Uh, this will be from one debuting one German guy to another. <laughs> uh, we actually managed to get enough cards together to build one of my favorite one-off villains from GX that I'll be piloting, Florentine Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, up against Mike, who is piloting the Jaden Yuki deck. See, the way I like to do these character decks is when we debut a character deck, I try to do something, a duel that was like canon in the actual show. Just as a debut for a new character. Kind so, of get him out there. Yeah, kind of get him out there before you start doing the really wacky stuff. Or just like, hey, what if this one against this kind of yeah. scenarios. So it's, you know. Yeah, so it's a one-off villain from like one episode. But he used a god card, and that was pretty cool. It's Franz, <laughs> everybody. Yes. How did we build a uh, an episodic filler villain's deck? Well, we'll show you how. <laughs> Basically, it's a glass cannon. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, we're finally showing off Franz's deck for the first time. Wanted to go... A in the canon matchup against Jaden, the only duel he had before he started doing the really out there stuff. Yeah. My luck has been on point today. Uh, for dice, anyway, yeah. Uh, six, seven, 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 Thirteen. Gonna summon a Numeron with rank 13. Ten. Ten, that's not enough. Who I'll starts? I'll go first. Okay. Five and six. Because one per turn. Yep. Old school rules as always with these types of decks. At least probably until we get to our five fair air, but that's a long way off. I will normal summon Elemental Hero Sparkman. Yeah. And set two. Your move. Sure. Remember, boy. I don't just have an Egyptian god card. I am one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll begin with terraforming. No responses. You're okay. all good. Which will fetch the card I need to be able to control around in the first place because we do have rules for that with these characters. Yep. Mound of the Bound Creator. Like, basically anybody who's, who's unaffiliated with Ori Kalkos or Ancient Egypt has to have some external way to control, the control a god card. Because, for lore reasons. And, and, there, and, there are, and I do have rules set in for when, um, if this leaves, but Roz still stays there for, like, a, while, a little while. Basically, till the end of the turn. And that this was gone. It, this goes it just keeps the flavor of the character within the duel. Without yeah. Yeah. We did it for lore re We just had to do it for, like, lore reasons, basically. Because yeah. we always have the problem with, like, if we give, like, Ra everything he had from Merrick, there's some things that you can and can't do with Dex. Yeah, because there were some things only Merrick knew how to do with Ra. Yeah. Yeah. And we try to keep it as faithful as we can. So. Yeah. Um, with some stretches for some characters, because holy crap. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I summon Royal Keeper. Yep. I'm um, going to battle phase. I'm going to try and crash at Sparkman. 16 to 16. Uh, I'm going to have to say no to that one this time, Chief. Need attack. Because that's not going to work against Raw when you get him out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. Um, second main phase... I'll put face down and pass. Yep. Draw for turn. Uh, Obviously a lot of filler to make a 40 card deck for this guy, but we got all the key points there. I'll switch him to defense and pass to you. Alright. Draw face. Stand by man. Yep. Like 
guess just to deck then I'll grab another Mount of the Bound Creator with another Terraforming. Is just it destroyed by your opponent's card effect? Or destroyed by a card effect and sent to the graveyard. So it has to be destroyed by a card effect. You can't just play one. You can't just play other. a field spell over top of it. Yep. And then if a monster that's level 10 kills an opponent's monster by a battle, the opponent takes a thousand damage. Yep. Um. I will use Nubian Gar or Royal Keeper's effect. Sorry, they both look very similar. Um, I can just f flip them face down. Okay. <laughs> and I'll set another monster to join him. All right. Your turn. Draw for turn. I will activate from my hand Neo Space. Okay. I will then normal summon Elemental Hero Prisma. Yeah. And I'll name Elemental Hero Neos. Okay. There's obviously Neos fate fusions in there. Yep. But because his name is that, he's at 3k. Because of Neos space. Well, he's not at 3k. He's at 17 plus 500. Yep. Sorry. <laughs> in my head. Yeah. I was like, wait, it's, yeah, it's Neos. So he's, yeah. 20, he's 22. Yep. Because he's treated as Neos and Neos space buffs of Neos. Yep. Um, switch elemental hero Sparkman yeah. to attack. Uh, I will attack the poison that I know. Okay. He's, yep, 17 to 22, he's gone. Yep. And then elemental hero Sparkman will attack your set. Uh, you attack and destroy Nubian Guard. He doesn't do anything when he's killed. Alright, your move. Alright. Draw. Okay. Name change lasts until the end of the turn? Yep. Okay. I think just to override Neospace and think in case things come up, I will use a Mound Creator now. Okay. Just to change the scenery. <laughs> uh, set a monster and pass. Alright. Draw for turn. I'll activate Elemental Hero Prisma's effect. Okay. I will name... Sinatrix. Okay. I have every of single one of Jaden's fusions throughout the show. Everything he used except for, like, the Nex cards, just because we don't have Nex in the deck. Yeah. But it's basically everything we used except So, for I'm those. just declaring a name for a hero is good... Yeah, because like Cause you're supposed to reveal it. You're but. supposed to reveal the fusion monster, but we already know what's in there. Yeah, there are several monsters that require burst tricks Actually, yeah, <laughs> you get the first one, flame wing man. Flame, <laughs> flame wing man. Yep. <laughs> um, I will then tribute these two monsters. Okay. To summon blade edge. Okay. Go to combat, and I'll attack your defense position monster. 900 piercing hits. 17 defense. Yep. Your move. Alright, draw. Okay, interesting. Do we deck then? I think we just deck then. <laughs> Normal summon Ra's Disciple? Yep. Effect? Yeah. Uh, is it from... Hand or deck. Summon and summon one out of deck. In attack mode because their defense is weaker than their attack. And I don't want to take more unnecessary damage. Makes sense. Yeah. So, while they're on the field, I cannot summon special summon other stuff except Ra's Disciple. And they can only be tributed for one of the Egyptian God cards. So 
So just to get another card out of my deck, I'll do that. And then I guess I'll end my turn. All right, I always draw. Yeah. I'll go to combat. Yeah. And I will attack one of your monsters for 15. All right. Um, I was gonna set one. Oh my bad. Set one pass. Set a monster pass. Yep. Good. Yep. All right. Changes nothing. Draw. It does. <laughs> How many monsters on my field before you summon Raw and beat me? <laughs> you better not say something you'll regret. Yeah. First up, I'm gonna activate my face down magic reflector. I'll put a counter on Mount of the Bound Creator to protect it from being destroyed by card effects. You have to get through the counter first before you can pop it with card effects. Yep. Uh, does not overthrow the old field spell rules, however. Yeah. Soul Exchange. All right. Which monster? Blade Edge. All right. Great beast of the sky, please hear my cry. Appear in this shadow game as I call your name. Come forth, winged dragon of Ra. <laughs> do you know the, do they teach you basic math at this school? I take the attack of all the monsters. So that's 22 plus 26. And they become Ra's attack. And 48. And their defense becomes his defense. Are you going to put Ron defense by any chance? No. <laughs> there you go. Okay. So since I can't do my battle phase this turn via soul exchange, I will simply pay 1,000 to nuke your other monster with Ra's effect. <laughs> I pay 1,000. And by the way, I'm not. I'm only doing that as a once per turn, not a quick effect, because that's just dumb. All right. <laughs> He's already stupid. And yeah. Your turn. What's the effect of Mount of Bound Creator? Uh, level ten or higher monsters on the field cannot be targeted or destroyed by card effects. When a level ten or higher monster uh, destroys a monster by battling into the graveyard, the player, the controller of the destroyed monster, takes a thousand damage. And if this card on the field is destroyed by card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can uh, add one divine attribute monster from your deck to your hand. All right. Set four. All right. Thank you for putting it on top of my deck. I mean, you cut the deck, man. <laughs> <laughs> You know, anime effect raw impervious to everything. He does have some limitations. I can't go Immortal Phoenix because that was really only Merrick's thing. And he can only be... He's only controllable with the um, Bomb Creator in play. 48 Hundo attack points. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Are we going to do this like we did in the uh, anime where you, I use the effect to pay all but one life points and then you attack me directly with Lomas? <laughs> <laughs> because that's like the only thing I see happening <laughs> to get over this. Uh, I got a few tricks. Okay. Uh, what do I need to do? Miracle Fusion looks pretty healthy right now. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Pass to you. Okay. Draw for turn. Standby. Main. Well, this is a little late to the party. Eh, I guess I'll use it now. I'll put Temple of the Kings on the field. <laughs> Let's me activate trap cards during the same turn they're set. Franz had a similar card to this, but it was anime only. So we're just kind it of works. filling stuff. It serves the same purpose. And the original version of that was Makiora, but because it just 
It was. It was too clump. It was Makiura plus Foolish Burial, and it got too clumpy. So is it your Temple of the Kings? Plus the card he used in the show, even though it was anime only, it was a spell as well. So it just works out. Yeah. Okay. You have 4,800 attack. I do. And you have enough to pay to one. But what are my sets? But what are those? Go into battle phase. Yes. Swing for 48. Activate a hero emerges. Okay, what's the monster? Avian? Yep. Uh, Redeclare attack on Avian. Yep. <laughs> Here you go. Of course. Oof. Turn after. Oh. Alright, let's see. What can you do? You must do something that helpful. Forty-eight's a big number. Yes, it is. And basically, the only way to kill him is by battle. Yeah. I do that soul exchange the turn before. I was just waiting to peel raw off the top, <laughs> and it happened. <laughs> Deck profiles for several decks coming soon, of course. We just need time. <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, it's like 5 in the morning here. Getting a little bit on the sleepy side, even though the sun is rising. <laughs> Why? I have plays. The problem is getting them to get there. Yeah. All right. I set one. Okay. And pass to you. All right. Draw face. Standby. Main. Targeted or destroyed. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you do take a thousand because I killed Avion by battle. I forgot about that because Bomb Creator also kill, hits you for yep. monsters. He kills. Transition from main phase to battle phase. Yep. Raw attacks for 48. I will take it. I forget if Jaden has like any weird burn effects. No. <laughs> I forget. Not out of the extra deck, at least. Um, nothing in the second main phase will be your go. I'm trying to think what he could he have in the main. Oh god. What the hell? I don't like the look on you on that face, man. That is a look of true terror and not in the good way. Like he's not terrified of my god card, I'm kinda terrified about what he drew kind of thing. Okay, I gotta do some thinking. <laughs> okay. I'll activate Skyscraper. No! Destroying onto the Bound Creator, Ra is free from my control! <laughs> so he's no longer protected. No, I... Um... Yeah. At the end of this turn, he's going to go mad and nuke the field, actually. Does he destroy my stuff, too? All cards on field. Okay. He just, it's like the duel with Joey and Odeon. Yep, okay. Because he couldn't control the fake Ra either. Okay. And he, and like, the god of trading cards was pissed. That's fair. Yeah. Well, that's a good thing for <laughs> me. Because, first, do you want to invest anything? <laughs> I do, but I don't, if that makes sense. Yeah. It, everything is going to die at the end of this turn because Mound is gone. Yeah. Unless I can get rid of him first. Yeah. Um, 
He checks every end phase. Yeah. Yeah. Because in the actual episode he was used in, there was a bit of a delay when Jaden activated the new field spell. Okay, I got it. I got it. This is going to be so cool. Okay. I activate Miracle Fusion. Okay. Let's see it happen. Um... Okay, in response, will can I still sack Miracle Fusion to provisions? I think so. Because change was all backwards, but you're not negate you're not really negating Mir Miracle Fusion doesn't have to be on the field to resolve anyway, it's a normal spell. Right. Is that your only target for provisions? I realized that I needed a card to discard oh I was gonna be doing a lot but yeah. oh I can still summon something so we'll see okay. so you're getting a thousand points back regardless yeah unless you target anything else just wish I could freaking draw you know? yeah yeah No. Well. No, because the monster will still be on field. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what I was hoping to do was plasma. Plasma vice? But the problem was it just didn't do anything. Yeah. But because you're nuking the board? Yeah. And I'm losing fusion? N Ra's nuking everything, including himself, because I can't control his power anymore. Okay, I got it then. So first, I'll activate Monster Reborn. Okay. Which was what I was trying to cheese you with. Okay. Because I was going to get life points and then bring Ra back to you. Yeah. Him, like he did in the freaking show. Yeah, that would have been awesome. Yeah. That but actually would awesome. But unfortunately, I played Reborn and I didn't have another discard, but I also couldn't get enough life to... Yeah. To finish it. Yeah. Yeah. So, I will choose... Prisma. Prisma, okay. I will choose Bubble Man. Okay. Dump Bubble Man into my graveyard. Okay. So. Literally the next card. <laughs> Literally the next card. Free special summon if you drew it. Yeah. But not the draw, too, because you have stuff on the field. Yep. I will now activate Miracle Fusion. I smell an element through Electrum. Yeah. <laughs> and Chain Provisions. On the Miracle Fusion? Yeah. Okay. So you're getting 1,000 points? And back. I will tribute all cards on my field. Or tributing a pop. So you're getting 2,000 back? One, two, three. Is it just spell and trap zone or just spells and traps you control? Send magic and trap cards on your side of the field to the graveyard. Okay, so it includes field spell zone. Okay. It can't send this card. Is, yep, so yeah. I gained 3,000. <laughs> okay. And Electrum. Okay. Was Bersinitrix, Bubble Man, Avian, and Clay Man, I think. Yeah, he's literally Water, Fire, Earth, Air. Avion, Cynatrix, Clay Man, and Bubble Man. Yeah, he's literally water fire right there. So Spark Man will not be back. Nope. They're banished. He is summoned. Yep. Banished guys go back into deck. Back. Yep. Ooh boy. And then that is my graveyard. Alright. Shuffle banish cards into the decks. This card gains 300 for each monster important controls, which they don't share attributes. No. He's not divine. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I know he has the attributes of all I was trying to think of something with divine Neos as well, but yeah. I couldn't get to 4K. Yeah. So I was like, yeah. yeah. Wing Dragon Rod just had to have that. I was going to bring him back to smack you, and that's what was going to be awesome. Yeah. But. 
Because Jaden, even though he's unaffiliated, he's a much nicer person to, than Franz and would actually, like, follow him like he did yeah. in the show. But the idea was I was going to point to point you. I know. <laughs> point to point, one turn kill. Alright. End phase. Ron nukes everything. In the end, everything burns. All right, your turn. Trouble man, you're my out, along with two other. <laughs> Temple. Yeah. Pot of greed. That is the card I'm looking for. Did you just draw that? I just peeled it off the top. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I normal summon Nimble Mamonga and attack for one thousand. <laughs> that is good. Your turn. I activate O over soul. Okay. Choose one elemental hero normal monster in your graveyard and special summon it. Neos. I attack your nimble Mamonga for 15. I take 15. You gain 1,000. I'll gain the 1,000 back. So I take 5. And then I'm going to summon two more nimble Mamongas from my deck face down. <laughs> oh, that was such a good draw. Yeah. Your turn. Afterwards. Yeah. Oh, Frank the Skyscraper. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, Drew Skyscraper, what can I do? Nope. No point. Point. <laughs> I mean, there probably was a way to do that if I kept the cards in hand more. Yeah. Because then I wouldn't have to worry about losing everything. Right. My go? Yeah, but I was like, provisions to keep me alive, and then I drew into the card I needed, and I was like, fuck. Right. Put another monster face down. Here we go. All right, draw. What makes you think there's only one raw proxy in this deck? I want to hear anything else. We'll attack that among them. Gain another thousand life. No targets in deck because three of a kind rule. Yeah. I will set one and pass. All right, draw. Here comes another monster. Your yep. turn. What do you do? What? Yeah, I'm gonna pause it for a sec. This has actually been going on for quite a while. Alright, we keep going. Alright. I think I'll hold this in hand. Neos will kill the last one. Okay, that's my last new manga. We just added recruiters to the deck to give him a little bit more survivability and tribute fodder. Because the way we initially built the deck, he was... He died if the first he, raw died. Yeah. It was not even a contest. <laughs> or, he couldn't even get raw out half, half, the half the time. Yeah, without King, because it was literally Macchior had to die or that. And then yeah. he had to have cards in hands for like recruiters. And the trap and the field spell. You yeah. literally had to draw like four out of five specific cards. So we're like, all right, we'll give him a recruiter. That way he can keep monsters on field without having to dump his whole hand. Yeah. And it works out so much better already. Yeah. He's still in the game even though he lost Raw. Set. Mm. No. No. Uh, activate Mound of the Bound Creator. Nice. And then I destroy it with MST to search raw. Nice. <laughs> to hand, unfortunately. <laughs> yep. Like I said, this is just a glass cannon deck for triggering out raw. I know it was one of a kind in the show, but in that at that point in the show, in, it was an industrial illusions test proxy. So like, who's to say there's more? Out floating around out there. You know Merrick made a few too. <laughs> uh pass it over to you. Alright. Draw for turn. Neos will kill that monster. Nubian guard right. is gone. Your move. Draw. <sighs> One monster too late. Pass turn. Elemental Hero Neos will attack your final monster. What's that? I will then set one more and pass to you. Alright. Uh, I 
and normal summon Royal Keeper. Yep. Royal Keeper goes into battle phase and will swing 16 at this monster. You take 400. Oh, it's the freaking Clay Man again. <laughs> it's always the Clay Man. What are you talking about? The Clay Man is the true god. <laughs> it got nothing on this. Oh. Your turn. All right. Draw. Mm. It's not over till it's over. I flip face up. Rottweiler. Rot okay. Go That's to combat. Swung at. I take 800 points of damage. Okay. Effect Rottweiler. Yeah, because you get, uh, when he's killed by Val, you get an E hero and a poly back. Uh, the E hero I'll choose. Is... Would you get 800 damage? Yep. Okay. And then I will kill your monster for 900. Okay. I added Elemental Plasma and Polymerization. Prisma? Back. Prisma. I was about to say, where's Aster with <laughs> Plasma? Yep. Third. <laughs> uh,. Normal summon? Okay. Effect? Yeah. I will declare... Do, do, do. <laughs> um... So many options. Now, if this was an actual duel, and I, if this was, like, actual Yu-Gi-Oh, and I didn't have, like, Ra and Mom Creator, um, the duel would just end in a draw because we'd both be knocked unconscious. <laughs> by lightning and fire and stuff. Um, I will actually declare Necro Shade because I don't want to draw him right now. Okay. You don't really need him right now. No, 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 I do not. Like, don't get me wrong. Good card. Don't want to draw him. No. Everything else is live right now. So yeah. I'm... Your turn. Alright. Draw. Oh, you should probably put a pot of avarice in this deck afterwards. So you can shuffle back your recruiters and Ross. Yeah. Maybe. Like one greed, one avarice ain't bad. Yeah. yeah. Just for the long haul. But he's more of a glass cannon deck anyway. Right, but the idea is dead on arrival right now. Kind of yeah. thing afterwards. One monster in defense position. Your move. Okay. Cut. Oh, yeah. Go for it. Hey, pal. <laughs> um, Prisma will name what do we name even? <laughs> I might be home. We will name Flare Scarab. Okay, so you're sending. So Flare Neos to send Flare Scarab. Okay. Actually, wait, does he gain the effects? Or just the name? Just the name. Just the name for the turn. Yeah. Go to combat. Yeah. Prisma will attack your set for 17. You destroyed Shiny Angel. Activate its destruction of a battle effect. Summon a light monster, 1500 or less from my deck in attack mode. Ra activates off that, right? What? Ra's Disciple? Yeah. Okay. He can get, yeah, because it's normal or special summon. Yeah. It's not bad. No, it is not. We summon the other Shining Angel. Quick question. Have you used Monster Reborn yet? I have not. That's what I was just Except looking at. One. <laughs> oh, wait. Neos will kill that one. No target. And you will take... Six plus five, eleven, and then I set one. Okay. So close yet so far. Is that game? No. Uh, well, not for me anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Where? Uh. Found creator, magic reflector. <laughs> nice. Now, if you draw into Monster Born, why can't you be Anime Soul Exchange? It's over. Yeah. <laughs> Jaden wins. Next card. Pot. But this is when I was, I was gonna set this next. Oh, nice. So, two cards away. And and if you did Monster Born me afterwards. 
glow them off. Because you point to point and then try and swing direct? Yeah. Uh, let's see if it's a spell. Yeah. Nope. Nope. What, what happens if it's a trap? Change his card to defense. <laughs> uh, I mean, even if I couldn't kill you, um, and then these were my he'd own. go away at the end of the turn anyway. But Oh, yeah, because uh, the... If they're special summon, they go into the grave at the end of the turn regardless. Yep. Jaden pulled that one out. Yeah. 48's uh, kind of a big number in character deck duels. Yeah. Uh, I should <laughs> That's sitting here like, come on. I, don't I was just nervous like... of the face downs, like summoning other things. Mm -hmm. So that's why... Jaden's I... just all utility outside of hero signal in the one card. Exactly. I... Oh. oh, yeah. Mirror Force. That does nothing to Engine. him. Yeah. Yeah. He's immune to traps. I forgot. Mm -hmm. I kind of forgot the traps in Jaden's deck, so I'm like... Do I point to point or not? I kind of want to play it safe because 48 is big enough, but then he had the other field spell, and that was pretty much the last nail in the coffin. Not to mention I made sure even if you point to point, that's why I set all those cards. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm totally going to live through this. Oh, the emergency? Yeah. yeah. So I was like, if you point to points, I can eat the one attack. I'm yeah. Like, but you didn't. And I was like, shoot. Nah. Which was all right. And I had glow monsters. Oh, if I did reborn him, he does get his instant attack where he just kills your entire monster. That's why I was hoping to get Wingery Bow out. But I was like, I need it. I was like, yeah. Necro Gardena. But then I realized, wait. His attacks can't be negated either. <laughs> anyway, we could sit here in theory all day. But I think it's, uh, it's about time we brought this video to a close. Deck profile for Franz coming soon. As well as several other characters I have yet to do. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed the Franz debut. Uh, it was just a cool episode that I really liked as like a one-off thing. So I thought, why don't I try and make this guy's deck with the very few cards he used? <laughs> and we did it. And it's a blast. So yeah, <laughs> thank you for watching. See you all in the next one.